and my name is Jessica, and we are the authors of Parker Look Up. We are currently in our hometown of Washington, D.C. And right now, we're sitting in the reading nook of my and my sister's bedroom. Parker Looks Up is about... What is Parker Looks Up about? What is our book about? Uh, the book is about when I when I went to the portrait gallery when I was two with my mommy and my sister. And what did we see when we were at the National Portrait Gallery? And um, I stopped through. Look at Michelle Obama's portrait, and my mommy tried to get a picture of me, but I just froze there. And a stranger took a picture of me looking at the Michelle Obama's The First Lady's portrait. The, the thing that inspired me was that girl had a beautiful gown and dark skin like me. And I knew I could meet her in person. Maybe you could meet her in person and you got to, right? Yes, for three times. <laughs> yes. Also, I might add that I think we, we wanted to write the book because we wanted to share, inspire, well, share the story. But with, with other kids and other grown-ups so they can be inspired and they can maybe write a book. You said it better than I could have. And they can be authors. And they can be actors. <laughs> and they can inspire the world with their books. Okay. Good job. <laughs> but as it relates to this year's festival, I think that um, ingenuity is um, a wonderful theme because um, it makes me think about um, all of the little people and the little children um, in our world who are undoubtedly our future. And um, it makes me think about, um, as a parent, um, and, and now as an author, it makes me think about um, hope for change. And hopefully um, we are doing the things that we need to do as adults and as parents to inspire our children and, and inspire our little ones um, to be creative and to be creators um, who use their talents and their abilities to change the world. Li yeah. Libraries, yes. Libraries are very important to us. Um, I started buying books for Parker when she was in my belly um, because I know um, all of the um, many benefits of reading to children. Uh, we have spent a lot of time at the Young Reader Center at the Library of Congress. As a native Washingtonian, I was very excited to be able to take Parker there when she was a baby and as she grew up for story times every week and just to spend time in a quiet corner reading there in the Young Reader Center. Um, libraries are important to us because I really feel that they are what have sparked so much uh, curiosity um, in Parker. Parker, what would you like to say about libraries? How do you feel about libraries? I feel so good at libraries, even at Thursdays. Um, when I was in pre-K three, my teachers took me there in the midst, and sometimes my my poppy, my grandparents' name, came there, and I get to sit next to him, and I get to read a few books. So yeah, libraries yeah. libraries have um a very special place in our hearts, as you can see. Parker talks about spending um her class time at school in the library and having special readers like her poppy come in to read. Um, we love going to the library and we look forward to getting back to the library one day soon. And soon, 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 soon. And we look forward to coming back to the Library of Congress because that's been a very special place uh, to us as well. It was easy. easy it was peasy. easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Lemon squeezy. Parker is a wonderful co-author. Um, she had a lot of great ideas for this book. And um, we really enjoyed kind of uh, reminiscing back on that day and all of the wonderful portraits that we saw. And um, a few of those portraits that were particularly memorable, we had the opportunity to include in this book. Oh, cool. Cool, cool.
it was very cool to hang out with Michelle Obama. I think cool may be an understatement. Um, it was surreal. It was so magical. It was magical to meet Michelle Obama. I was going to say magical. It was magical to meet her. And enchanting. It was enchanting. M- Mrs. Obama is um, as... A friend of mine. A friend of Parker's. But Miss Obama is as kind and as warm and as humble as you could ever imagine. And um, it was a wonderful experience to meet her and to, to meet her in person and, and see the interaction between. And her and do a dance party and stick it up and stick it up a room. Yeah. As you can see, Parker has very fond memories of her visit visits with Michelle Obama. Um, and I'm, I'm grateful for um, Mrs. Obama's <laughs> willingness yeah, we, we, to further inspire Parker beyond yeah. the portrait. Parker Curry loved to dance. Dressed in her favorite tutu, she imagined she was a dancing queen. But one rainy Tuesday, instead of going to the gym class, Parker's mom said, let's go to the new band. Ava, too. See ya. Parker's best friend. Read them at the top of the museum. Yay, it's Gia. Went inside, the girls hurried down a long hall, looking at the paint tent all around them. They saw prancing horses, blooming flowers, a bushy mustache, <laughs> a, a, a shiny jewel necklace, two peacocks with red eyes, and a bunch of slimy fish. I hope that readers will take away from this book that representation is indeed very important more now than ever. And we hope that our book will inspire um, children like Parker and little ones to dream big dreams because anything is achievable. You can even be an author at five years old, right? So dream big dreams. Even a four or three year old can be an author. Or two. Or two. Or one. Yes. So uh, we'd like to thank the Library of Congress for inviting us to take part in this year's festival. Um, we hope that if you'd like to find out what happens at the end of Parker Looks Up, that you will rent um, or borrow the book from your library um, or purchase it um, online. So thank you. Bye. Bye.